Hey guys, today we're going to do section 6-4 and we're going to talk about fractions, decimals, and percents. Let's start with a basic definition. A percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. I'd like you to pause the movie now and please copy the definition of percent into your notes. Okay, let's move on. We're going to start this lesson by writing a percent as a fraction. As I already told you, a percent is a part or something over a hundred. So when I look at this first example, 5%, I would say that that is 5 over 100. Now most of you are looking at that and saying, hey, Ms. Garcia, that's not a reduced fraction. So I would then need to reduce this fraction. To do so, I use my divisibility rules. I notice that each of these fractions, or each of these numbers, excuse me, end in 0 or 5. I remember that a numbers ending in 0, 5, or 5 are divisible by 5. So I'm going to divide each of these by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So I can say that 5% is equal to 1 over 20. And that's how I would write that percent as a fraction. Let's try the next one. We are going to try to turn 145% into a fraction. So I know I will have 145. A percent is always out of a hundred. Wow, this is an improper fraction. So I know that 100 goes into 145 one whole time. After 100 goes into 145 one whole time, I have 45 left over out of 100. So let's reduce that fraction. 45 and 100 can both be divided by 5. So that would give me 1 and 9 twentieths. Copy this problem down to, into your notes and then try letter C on your own. Let's see how you did. You should have gotten for letter C 72 out of 100. Both of those numbers are divisible by 2 because they end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. 72 divided by 2 is 36. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Looks like I'm not done yet. 36 divided by 2 and 50 divided by 2 would give me 18 out of 25. Check the notes on your paper. If you got 72% equals 18 out of 25, give yourself a little C. If not, fix your notes so that it shows the correct answer. In this section, we're going to write percents as decimals. Look at the chart on this page. Try to identify any patterns that you see. For example, 10% is 0.10. I know that because 0 0.10 goes to the hundredths place. So that is 10 out of 100 or 10%. 20% is 0 0.20 because I have 20 hundredths. 25% is written as 0.25 because I have 25 hundredths. Use the examples on this chart to write letter A as a decimal, 34%. Copy the problem and write your answer into your notes. Then we'll see how you did. Well, 34% means 34 out of 100. So I should have 34 hundredths. To write that as a decimal, it would be 0 0.34 because 34 is in the hundredths place. 
34 hundredths. Pause the movie now and try B. For B, you should have gotten 0 0.063. Look at the chart, look at your two example problems, and see if you see a shortcut or a trick. If you do, write that shortcut or trick on your notes and we'll discuss it in class the next day. Now we're going to go the other direction. We're going to go from a, per, from a decimal to a percent. All we have to do here is look at what number is in the hundredths place. There's one hundredth, so it's one percent. Here's ten hundredths, so that's ten percent. Twenty-five hundredths, twenty-five percent. Here, I have thirty-three hundredths, but I have some other guys left over. So I kind of have to put my decimal, squeeze him in there. So that would be 33.3%. Try to write A and B as percents. Pause the movie now, copy the problem, and write it as a percent. Push play to check your answers. For A, we notice we have 45 hundredths. So that would just be 45 percent. B, I have one whole. Well, when I'm using a hundredths, one whole is actually a hundred. So I'm going to have a hundred, but I'm also going to have this thirty-five hundredths. So this would actually be one hundred and thirty-five percent. Very similar to this problem here. Pause the movie and make sure you have these two examples correct in your notes. Let's look at the last section of this lesson. Today we're going to be writing a fraction as a percent. There's two ways to do this. Convert the denominator to a hundred or divide the top number, the numerator, by the bottom, which is the denominator. Pause the movie and write these notes onto your paper. When you're finished, push play. Let's look at number one, nine twentieths. I know that 20 can be multiplied by something to give me 100. Let's use our giant 1. 20 times 5 is 100. What I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 9 times 5 is 45. 45 out of 100 is actually 45%. Pause the movie and copy example one into your notes. Let's look at example two. One over six. Can one over six can be converted to something over a hundred? No, because six does not go into a hundred evenly, or six times something doesn't give me a hundred exactly. So I'm going to have to use the second approach, which is to take the one and divide it by the six. 6 does not go into 1, so we continue with our long division. We can't have remainders anymore, so we add our decimals and our zeros. 6 goes into 10 one time. 6 times 1 is 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. Bring down another zero. 6 goes into 46 times. 6 times 6 is 36. Uh-oh, I get another 40. This 6 is going to keep on repeating. So what I will do is look at what is in my hundredths place. I see that I have 16 hundredths, but I have these numbers over here. So I'm going to use this as 16 point something percent, because I have 16 percent. I have to round the number to the right of the decimal since this number is 5 or greater, that makes this number round up to a 7. So I would actually have 16.7%. Pause the movie now and copy this example into your notes. Here's some practice problems. Do problems 1 through 4, then submit it to the form online.